Hello everybody, welcome back to Monster Hunter World with me, Flake, joined by Valinor and eventually Cor Nicole. Yes, hello. Cor is just finishing stuffing his face. And hopefully we're not going to have any technical difficulties this time, thanks to my internet. Uh, where is the quest that I wanted? Available quest? Oh, you didn't post it yet? Ugh. The only investigation currently active is a uh, Tempered Teostra. Gross. Mm-hmm. So Cold Taroth is just the same limited time siege again, which was a bit disappointing. I think it is, yep. No, it definitely is. I saw a follow-up tweet. Okay, I post so the quest. Okay, so we still don't get to kill the golden girl. At least not for realsies. Not yet. Not yet, no. Oops, I went to post again, didn't I? Every time. Available quests. Uh, we could do Chris's quest after. <clears throat> Which Sounds is... Fun. Ergen and Azure. Oh yeah, we can it do that one after. Recess. Yeah, okay. Why not? So I have already used this hunting horn in an episode that won't see air because of technical troubles, but I'll use it some more just to have some for posterity. Do not kill the golden girl, please, but we must. Eventually. When Sooner or later we will. Maybe in G-rank. Mercola is training so that one day he can do the emote I have in Fortnite. We do have a space until Cork gets here, for anyone who wants in. Or one more space on top of the ones we have already. Okay, Chris got in, there we go. I can do this all day. I'm sure this will go well. Forgot I didn't post the quest, so I have to ready up. Who dares load the quest slower than me? I mean, he did join pretty late. Don't give him plausible good excuses. And there we go. Yes, let's go. Hunters, away! Carl, are you eating hamburgers? Damn, he's not actually in the call yet, is he? Nope, he didn't accept the call. How dare he? I bet it was hamburgers. He seems like the sort. Not that there's like <laughs> precedents being set or anything. A type of beef. Mmm. <clears throat> okay, that could be anything. Yep, just beef. Shaped into some kind of like patty. Yes, prepared cow. Mmm, prepared cow on breaded buns of rolls. Prepared cow on baked wheat. A Monster Hunter announcement with new information is coming soonish according to the community manager. I don't think there's a Monster Hunter scheduled specific live stream from the Japanese side, so that would be odd. Would be odd. They could announce G rank for like the PC version. I that's a reach. It'll be their next It it is a reach, yes. Because they only planned out stuff till May, so they're gonna have to cover the rest of the summer. Which will probably be their next big reveal. Like, here's what you're getting in June. Here's July. Uh, I'm going am I the, the only way. one at Diablos? I thought we'd be going after the fish first, because you hate the fish. No, I, I do, yes, but... Okay, fine, I'll come to Diablos. If something goes wrong, it, it would be Diablos. Nothing's going to go wrong, it's fine. I am using hunting horn, mind you. <laughs> Which is a big negative in terms of experience. I'm also using dual blades, and I'm... I don't know how to dual blades, kinda. Just weeb all the time. Ow. I like that that attack didn't touch me, but Kenneth is touching me. Because the Diablos is so tall, it passed over me. Hmm. I mean, that's always been the case, though. 
Yeah, but it shouldn't be for a world. They should have made a more effort with the really tall or really short monsters. At least the tail slap isn't a wall anymore. Yeah. You seriously just go into another charge? Yes. Ooh. And you don't get knocked anymore if you run into the tail from behind when it charges past you. Which is quite nice. That always annoyed me. I should do Sonic Waves when she's underground, right? Because it's Sonic Bombs. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay. So it actually works. Watch her not go under her now while I have the song primed and ready. Oh! Oh, well, she's going under. She got up too quickly, I think. Yep. Oh, good. There's a version of God of War installing in the background. Perfect. Oh, nice. Yes, perfect. That's exactly what was needed. That gets a lot of updates. I'm curious if they're like fixing a bunch of bugs I just never happened to experience. Maybe. Or maybe they're just setting up new content. But they said they weren't doing new content. Uh don't really trust what corporations say, to be honest. I don't trust what corporations say. It did say. really well, so but they the might do Developers I trust. Are you using an elemental weapon? No. Use blast. Oh, you're still getting elemental attack boost because this hardcore <laughs> doesn't have many good right. zones on it. And you should farm the golden girl when she's back for a better one. But this is one from her. Glorious golden bagpipes. Tried to double charge on me there, but I saw it coming. You named it ribeye steak. I'm still gonna. Wait, we went through this before, and I told you you were having ribeye steak, Cart. Ah, I see. Nice. How many more tempered monsters do you need? I'm at three out of five. I see, okay. I'm at 4 out of 5. And I got a Vivian gem. Free off sort off, I'm gonna give you Blight Negation. Mm. How dare you. Mm. Thank you, Ryujin, for the bits. You have to head off to work, happy hunting. Thank you. Have as good a time as possible at work. Also, even though Court did have ribeye steak for dinner, we're still remembering it that he had beef burgers. Hamburger? We call them beef burgers. But hamburgers, yes. Are hamburgers made out of ham? No, they aren't. Yes, yes, they are. No, they're made out of people. It's retail? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Rib. Yeah, if you don't hate people, just work retail for a few years. You'll learn. It typically takes like a week at most until you hate people. <laughs> it does give you lots of stories to tell, though, if nothing else. <laughs> steamed hams. Okay, fine. Court had steamed hams. Steamed yams? Hams! Yams. It doesn't say yams, it's hams. <laughs> I know. Do you, though? Yes. Beginning to think you don't know your Simpsons references. I, I would know that one. 
it's been all over Twitter for like months. Yes, that one and the one of Bart hitting Homer over the back with a chair. Yes. I like the tweet that said it's. It makes it really obvious how shit New Simpsons is. That the resurgence of Simpsons memes are all super old ones. At least ones. twenty years old. Yes, they're from the nineties. But yep, they're right. It was better back then. don't like the episode where Lady Gaga showed up? I've actually seen that one and it is the worst. But it's not the worst just because it's a bad episode, I think it has a really bad message. <laughs> because the whole episode is Lady Gaga not happy that Lisa isn't being happy in the right way. And kept, keeps on trying to force her and then eventually Lisa capitulates and does. Like, is happy nice. the Gaga way and that's an awful message. And they also they did a, that same storyline better in the 90s. <laughs> when she's just sad for no reason and the episode ends with Marge basically sitting her down and saying if you want to be sad you be sad we'll be there for you which is the right message and then Lisa starts Obviously smiling not. and Marge says well why are you smiling I just said you don't have to and she says but I feel like it and that's a very sweet ending yeah but that's not that applied to modern culture anymore probably not no So you have to conform if you want to be happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that is a good quote from Clerks. Hello, Biggie Smiles Jr. The Simpsons and Family Guy did do a crossover. And it was fairly recent, and I must say I watched it, and it was fairly funny. I haven't seen Family Guy in years. I mean, neither had I had at the time, because Family Guy went bad pretty quick too. But their crossover episode, they put effort into, and it was actually quite funny. They poked fun at each other's like stereotypes. I wonder if it's still on in German TV. I'm trying to remember bits of it. I remember it ends with a horrible, like, Family Guy has that running joke of Peter fighting the giant chicken. So yep. they ended the special with him and Homer fighting each other. <laughs> in ridiculous fashion. I got another ribbon gem. I mean, there was a lot of jokes about how Brian is an anthropomorphic dog, whereas the Simpsons dog is just a dog. That stuff was good. Yeah, I can see that being good. Ah, uh, Chris has to go, so he can't post the quest right now. Well, you are going to have to pay now. You'll know it when it happens. Just remember that you got our hopes up and then dash them. I'll see if I have a tempered thing in the Elder's Recess. I probably don't outside of a Teoster or something. Though. Mm, I didn't check for the maps. I'll, I'll take a look. Where did I get that from? I've got a captured Devil Joe in the Elder's Recess. It's a Kushala uh, in the Elder's Recess. Nope. Definitely not. A Lavazio in the Elder's Recess. One faint. <laughs> no. How many monsters do I still need to do an Elder Recess? Because I do have one that's three. It's an Azure Rathalos, uh, Basil, and a Dodo Gamma. I think you just need one tempered hello. monster. Oh, hello, Kurt. Should I go so, check? So, seems, since you guys were talking about old cartoons, have you seen the new Thundercats? I yes. have seen a picture of it, and it's awful, yes. <laughs> but that's like cost-cutting, isn't it? Is that why it looks like that? No, it's just, it's the new popular style, and Ugh. everyone hates it. Yeah, it looks awful. Like, it's not really fitting for a cartoon like Thundercats. Like, for, I mean, origi it for original it. cartoons, it works, because, you know, it's original, it doesn't have any source material. But Thundercats was a very adult-looking cartoon. I still posted it, just because. <clears throat> have you? Are you in the whole cart? Nope, I'm loading. Alright, well, 
to save up space for him. And thank you, Hitmon Jeff, for 10 months in a row with Twitch Prime. Dreaded loading screen. I found a bone in my chicken nuggets tasty. But yeah, it's if mm. you want to see like um, Thundercats that looks really good, the 2011 one has a really good look to it. I remember yes, that. And, I and never no saw it, I but it no one canceled. watched it. I got yeah, I got cancelled after like one season. I didn't remember I? I talked about it on a stream like half a year ago or something. Was since it since I really yeah, liked I the look did. of it? Did you actually watch the show though, or did you just see pictures and think, oh, that's okay? No, I no, I don't watch anything. <laughs> See, we, I just talk about the art. Part of the problem. Yeah, you got it cancelled by not watching and supporting it. I just okay. So the thing is, it um, there was a, there was a, I saw a message about that that wasn't cancelled because it didn't get watched. It was cancelled for other reasons. What was the other reasons? Yeah, now I need to find that message. <laughs> Did the creators find porn of their characters and they went, no, oh, no, we're not doing this <laughs> anymore. Did you see the art style of that show? They they probably created the porn of those characters. <laughs> <laughs> when I think of Thundercast, I can only remember the 80s version, so I'm g <laughs> that's creating some dodgy images in my mind. Okay, but the 2011 one was anime waifu territory. Yeah, I know that it had like a, yeah, that full anime style that American cartoons went through, yeah. Let's see if I can find this Twitter. You better be joining the lobby at the same time. I am. Lo I'm still loading in. This uh, guy is really into animations, I'm sure he has retweeted this. It got replaced by a cheaper series, it was supposed to get a new season, but Cartoon Network went, nope, we want the cheaper thing, please. Well, obviously it's Cartoon Network. But maybe they did also think people would like it, because isn't the Teen Titans thing that looks as ugly as that popular? No, Teen Titans actually looks better than that. I like, thought it was the Teen exact Ti same style. No, this is uh, Steven Universe style. I've, I've never seen that. It's horrible. It's pretty art, terrible, yeah. Art style-wise, it's terrible. Story-wise, it's okay at times and horrible at other times. But all this is cost-related. They have to look ugly now because they can't afford to look good. Yep. Yeah, since art animators are really expensive, since they put a lot of work into mm. what they do. And I've seen I've seen the work of the animators of the series, so it's not in terms of skill. It's literally just because they have to. Hmm. Thank you, Bog Chu, for 21 to Robot Trime. Thundercats, ho! Oh! No, her name is Ch Chitara? Her name is Chitara. The joke would have worked better if I could remember her name. Hmm. They she should just do like 80s anime where they just cut to a still frame with just the, the mouths moving. Oh, I found it. Are you putting it in Discord? Uh, oh wait, is that a picture you're talking about? Or... No, it's a tweet. Oh. Basically, Aaron Hansen talked about how they got cancelled because no one watched it and then someone elaborated on it. Mm. Let's see. It's the second image of that tweet. <clears throat> um, I'm looking at it now. Yeah, that's the 2011 one that actually looked good. Yeah. But that must have been <laughs> a really expensive style though. Yeah. The series wasn't advertised, suffered from time slot rotations. Uh, I was met with a similar backlash upon announcement for looking too anime and writing on the visual trends made popular by Avatar and Team Titans. It was a good show, blah blah blah. Yeah, so it was following the trend of the time as well, full anime. Yeah, but the full anime style looks much better than the Steven Universe style. Yes, I agree. I think people call it the Cal Arts, Cal Arts style. Which, no, uh, you can... Kal Kalel, that's Superman. No, Ka Okay, fine. <laughs> That was my nerd <laughs> joke, embrace it. But yeah, um, mm -hmm. it, you can tell when the style is used, since it has very chibified characters with uh, big heads, and they don't have any angulars, angles at all. It, everything is soft and round, like the mouths are very circular, <clears throat> eyes are full-on circles. Uh, <clears throat> their arms are very wobbly. <laughs> they they have like fingers that looks like balloons that could filled up rather than drawn. That sounds very like nineties Cartoon Network, like Dexter's Lab. I remember like Dee Dee always having some really weird looking fingers. Uh, let me see. Someone made um, gargoyles version of that. Goodbye, Barrow. Hmm. Oh, I've Let's I've see see seen a crap ton of like making fun of the art style, just doing X in the style. Yeah. This one is probably the worst one, though. Look at this. Hang on. Look at what? Oh, so 
Yeah. In the Discord chat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, you can God. You can tell on the fingers and the feet that they just look horrible. They look like web comics that have to get a new comic out at least once a week. You know what I mean? Um, Where like they have to kind of cut yeah. corners and paste faces on people and all that kind of like, thing. Like that one Buzzfeed artist that when he stopped working, when he stopped working for them, suddenly his art improved like tenfold. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I wonder why. Ooh, what does this button do? Yeah, that's right. We all watch Dexter's Lab. Oh boy. Look who I found. Is it Rathalos? I found him. I'm no, gonna it's, fight it's, him. It's, it's Basil Redland, trying to Gamma. bully Dodo Gamma. No bully with Dodo Gamma. Yes, bully. Oh. Always bully. Fine, you walk over there while I play my bagpipes. Was it when I was playing with you guys that um, a Dodo Gamma got like randomly trapped in a trap on the other side of the map while we were fighting something else? I don't remember that happening with us. Okay, then it was probably with someone else. So. Anyway, we, we just suddenly we saw that we got points for trapping a Dodo Gamma while no one was giving close to it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, yes, I should probably have brought antidotes. I was yeah, gonna run up there after probably. I cast that, damn it. I should probably have brought anything to get rid of poison. <laughs> I can give you Blight Negated. Yeah, that, it will, uh, it'll health. be. It'll be. It's the a placebo. The thought, the thought yeah. that can't count. At least you tried. Yeah, good. That's my favorite part. But then, as much as like I don't really mind the um, art style used, since it's it gives very uh, op- it gives good options for animations. Like the animation looks really good, but it's just for the show in question. It re- looks really bad. <laughs> yeah, yes. it doesn't fit it. Are they taking it in a different direction? Is it going to be like goofy yes, instead of more it really is serious? full on comedy? Oh, that's much worse than any art style could offend me. Like the original Thundercats was like they were the last living members of their species that exploded or something. I don't remember no, what it's... happened to their planet. I think I actually did watch like the first episode of the 2011 one. Did you get turned uh, off by Snarf? I don't. I don't even remember any of the characters. I just remember them having their monologue about what the fuck is happening. No, Snarf isn't a character. He's just a noise. He just goes Snarf, Snarf, and that's it. That's what he is. But yes, I am someone who pays more attention to the art than the show itself. Really? I, I didn't know that about you. <laughs> How weird. Oh, in that case I have a question because I haven't spoken to you for ages. Have uh, you read the Batman comic called Endgame? Um, isn't you? It's the finale to the new 52. Run. Then no. I haven't watched, I haven't read anything from New 52 since like 2014. Oh, I, it was meant to be the finale, but there was a couple more after, but more or less it's the finale. It was the finale in DC fashion. Yeah, because um, yeah. this Batman thing I'm subscribed to that gives a couple of comics a month is uh-huh. mostly from the New 52 run. So they're new to me because I never knew anything about that. But I really like the art in the endgame, even though the story was kind of dumb. Yeah. I thought you might appreciate it from that perspective. Like, they do a really good job of making the Joker sinister, because he's, the whole the gist of the plot is he no longer sees Batman as his friend, so he decides to burn everything to the ground. Hmm. And it starts with him turning the Justice League against Batman. So it's it's one of those uh, comics where a Joker is like, well, I am tr- done with holding back, so now uh, you're getting my full power. It's actually very scary. <laughs> When Batman is having his final <laughs> confrontation with the Joker, he's, his inner monologue is saying, I always forget how fast the Joker is when he's attacking me with a knife. And then the Joker's like, or maybe all this time I've just been letting you think I'm this slow. <laughs> because the Joker in the New 52 does technically have special powers. He has regeneration powers, without going into too much detail for spoilers. He has uh, green hair, that's a power. But yes. it's because the New 52 run starts with him being the Red Hood. So it's um, all connected to him falling into that vat and stuff like that. But, but, it, was, it was a pretty good story. Isn't that what happened to him in the animated series as well? Yeah, but like depending on which 
like origin story. Sometimes he's just a gangster. Sometimes he's just a guy. But like the new Fifty Two one, he was an established gangster, and Batman fails to save him. I thought, yeah, since like in the old ones, most of the time he were just someone that uh, he was just someone forced <laughs> into doing it. Mm -hmm. That was the most common one. But his backstory always changed because it's the Joker. Yeah. I mean, if you can just Google some art from, like, just type in, like, Batman New 52 Endgame, there's some really great shots. Well, I don't... Shots isn't the right word when it's drawings, but I don't know. Scenes, pictures, Yeah, whatever. like, there's one where Pages. Commissioner Gordon thinks he's killed Joker with the fire axe, and he's just kind of looking at a window, not believing what he did, and then, like, there's fire in the background, and then the next scene, it's the same shot, except the Joker is there in silhouette, and it looks great. Yeah, DC has some really good artists, and some really bad ones. Mm -hmm. I just kind of wish there was more stories in the New 52 run involving detective work, instead of like over-the-top yeah. fights, that's the only downside, it's... but the art is fantastic. Yeah, no, both Marvel and DC has gone further from like storytelling and all that, and more into action. Like, I, it's like, I'm, I remember I liked a lot of Superman comics where he wasn't fighting. Since the fighting is the least interesting part of him. Yeah, definitely. So oh, do you know how Batman beats Superman in Endgame? No. He uses kryptonite gum and what? spits in hmm. Superman's face. <laughs> so stupid. Yes, yes, it is pretty stupid. Uh, kryptonite is like... It, it seems to follow what Batman wants rather than what it actually is. <laughs> Uh, that's yeah. that's the that's the dumbest part about Batman comics. It follows exactly what he wants rather than what it usually does. Yeah, he beats he beats all of them in a dumb way. Actually, he beats the Flash by making the floor really slidey, so he accidentally skids into a building <laughs> and smashes into it. <laughs> 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 and Count then the measures. and then he does like some Naruto shit on Wonder Woman, where he has like the opposite to the lasso of truth, where if he puts it on her. She imagines that she's killed him and is just like standing there happy having done it. It's like some it's just bizarre. Yeah. Um I think that was the the one who dealt really well with Deadpool was Deathstroke in one of the comics. Where he put he since Deathstroke is one of those like, ah, oh, I can think really fast. So he put down a mine where he assumed uh, Flash would run. You realize you said Deadpool, right? And then you said yeah. Deathstroke. Yeah, I said Death. Dead. Fuck yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm everyone, just, I'm just making sure because I was like, okay, so you read a comic where Deadpool and Deathstroke fought. I was like, that can't I, be right. That's that's actually a comic. That Wait, how can that be a comic when it's DC and it Marvel? It's like a crossover. Oh. Uh, Deadpool got stabbed by a lot of things. Okay, yeah, that sounds a puppy about right. And a spatula. <laughs> 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 sounds about that, right. That sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, uh, I was with my friends and we watched the scene, like talking about Deadpool 2 and I but, do want to see it, but I probably won't be able to see it in some. Deadpool is probably the only movie I'm actually interested in this thing. But I haven't yeah, actually read the Deadpool and Cable comics, so I'm gonna I see it at some point. One of the few Marvel comics I actually have read is the Scarlet Spider. Uh, what was his name again? I already forget. I don't remember the Scarlet Spider's real name. Kane! <clears throat> That's his name. Uh, the guy that has, like, the mark of Kane. Okay. Um, he's like a Spider Man clone who is. When he puts on Spider Man's costume, he suddenly has the physique and height of Peter Parker. That's but when he's out of it, he's like 6 foot 5 and 250 pounds. That's a bit. <laughs> Kane, it's a bit weird. It's because the artists are too used to drawing Spider-Man, so that when they have like a bulkier character, they forget it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, comics. <laughs> ah, comics. Who trapped this? Oh, my no, he's dead. It's fine. <clears throat> Trapping is not allowed. Oh, yeah. I remember I like I liked that comic a bit, since he's not a hero, he's like a former villain who accidentally becomes a hero. All while he tries to escape being a hero. <laughs> <laughs> meow yourself. It's little murmurs that Sora does every so often sound like meows. I don't trust her. Hmm. She's a spy. I think she might be one of those cat spies, yeah. <sighs> Oops, that was a terrible throw.
I guess that concludes the talking about Marvel and DZ. No, I, I was gonna say, um, yeah, about the Batman thing. Uh, Kryptonite seems to follow whatever he want, wishes. Yes. Since Superman has been shot by a Kryptonite bullet before, and they didn't really do that much to him. But my gum, gum, that's too much. Yeah. It wasn't even the gum touched him. It's just that the saliva that the gum had been chewing on spat. <laughs> you know, whatever. I mean, prior to that, he was fighting with a mech suit that he designed to fight the Justice League if he ever needed to do it. But ah, he... yes, because you know, mech suits have worked so well in the past. Well, he had like a red, yes. a red sun death beam that was hurting Superman, but he misjudged. Like he thought Superman would be fighting fair, but he didn't realize it was he was under the effect of Joker toxin, so he doesn't care about public safety. And the mech suit gets destroyed, and then he has to resort to the gum that he keeps <laughs> in his helmet at all times. <laughs> that seems. <laughs> Strange. Oh, you, you never, you never know. Shark repellent spray. You never know when he has to fight Superman. Mm -hmm. Or where Batman got the knowledge of the Monitor, so he had like the knowledge of literally everything in the universe. Yeah. And he became he becomes a cripple in a chair and is like, I am God now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Endgame was one of the four that got sent to me most recently. There was another one called Golden Dawn, and that was absolutely awful. I don't know if that was from New 52 or not. It's like Bruce Wayne is obsessed with a girl he knew and it turns out her father is like a demon worshipper and he teams up with some demon called Ingron or something. It's, it's really bad. Really it is really, really bad. Is that father Ra 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 Ghul? No, it's not Rasha Ghul. No, it wasn't anything to do with the League of Assassins. Okay. Yeah, and the, the, the demon he comes up with like talks and rhymes and he refers to them as the demonic duo at one point. I was just like, nope, done. This is really bad. Why did you include this story? It's terrible. Oh yeah, did I mention I watched... Uh... Oh yeah, I did mention I watched uh, Doctor Strange. Well, I had to... I, um, I was talking to some friends of mine about how like they expect to see... If they expect to see Dormammu in future movies. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'm expecting him to appear in the next Doctor Strange movie, if there is one. It but did well enough, than, I would think so. Other than that, I don't think he fits into anything else. Since he is a very strange, <laughs> attached villain. I've never read the X-Men comics at all, Crispy. I watched the 90s cartoon and that's it, pretty much. Same. I tried reading the Wolverine comics, but the part where he's in Japan is so friggin' boring. <laughs> it's incredibly boring. Oh, yeah. um, Why is he not stabbing people? Wolverine should be stabbing people. I mean, he does use a katana called the Nippon Steel. Why does he use a katana when he has knife hands? Because he is a samurai. <laughs> and Wolverine um, goes weeb, you know it's gone too far. They want to know how Nightcrawler kills Apocalypse World the Blob. Does he teleport inside him and eat him from the inside out? Does he teleport a bomb inside of him? And I'm, it's something involving teleporting inside him. That's got to be it. Teleports. Uh, shadow oh. Yeah, I'm never going to read it. So if anyone is going to care about this very particular X-Men storyline... You might not want to listen. For the next, for the next thir like, 30 seconds or so, yeah. I've also not been like playing any songs, I've just been hitting triangle to attack over and over. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fine, I'm not putting much effort into this item. <laughs> I've just been poking it. Ow. A pokey, poking stick. I hate how much dodging that's needed for battle. It's a 20 something year old story, well you know what, that's probably enough time. The moratorium on spoilers for that has passed. It's still in spoiler territory. My free heals. I don't want to use a, a heal I made. But I, oh yeah, now I remember why <laughs> I was thinking of, about uh, like um, Dormammu and all that. It's because someone someone posted like an image on Twitter where it's like it, Squirrel Girl is cannon stronger than Thanos. It's like technically but in the world you're putting it out of context. Yes. Since she has like the power of being super lucky, basically. Yes. Um, 
But yeah, they posted like they, they posted like the power grid, the marble, <laughs> uh, the marble Wikipedia loves to use, and it shows like Squirrel Girl maxed out on everything, <laughs> and Thanos maxed out on everything except for Lock. fighting skills, I think. And it's just like, yeah, no, that's wrong. <laughs> this is hunting like, horror potly, Emmy, and it is a bagpipe. Like, when it comes to stuff like this, I get more nerdy than I usually am. <laughs> <laughs> I am noticing that. I love that um, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 had, like, those power grids in the game. I found that really cute. Because it shows how, like, completely unbalanced the matchup actually is when you look at them. <laughs> Since you know the strongest um, Capcom character is Akuma, I think, in like pure strength. And then you have Dormammu, who's maxed out on literally everything. Wasn't it also hey, that for one of the Capcom vs. Marvel games, Marvel made it a stipulation that in any of the preview videos, the Marvel characters had to be winning? <laughs> Really? I believe I heard a rumor about that. I think about the most recent one. Like all the preview videos that's... are always the Marvel characters getting their, like, or sorry, the Capcom characters getting their asses kicked by the Marvel characters. Mm. Yes, it, no, I believe it, yeah. it was. Yes, CR confirmed it was. Mm. Heroes can't lose, you know. <laughs> they never die. Never did see Chris's answer. Oh, it's infinite, apparently. I, I, I just said that. That's the most recent one. Oh. You'd... Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's the name of the new, newest one. Shows how much I care for it. Anywho, the other two Batman comics that I got. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. One was called Joker, and it must be from, like, around where the Chris Nolan films were, because the Joker is depicted as looking like the Joker from the Chris Nolan films. Film. I've forgotten the guy's name who played him that died. Keith Ledger. Keith Ledger, thank you. Yes, it looks like him, and it's a story of Joker getting pronounced sane and coming out of Arkham and finding that like all his gangster businesses are are taken over, so it's, it's him taking them back. And it's from the perspective of a no-name gangster that wants to be like the Joker, called Johnny Frost. Although he introduces himself as Johnny, Johnny Frost, so the Joker just calls him Johnny Johnny for the whole thing, which I thought was quite clever. <laughs> And he basically he gets to see what the Joker is like, and then decides actually no you're you're just a psychopath. I don't want to be like you at all. <laughs> Fancy that. Yeah. And then so the, basically, Joker gets an intern. Yeah, essentially, and you just see it all from his perspective. Batman's not in it really until right at the very end to fight with the Joker. But yeah, I, I, that had a very weird art style. It was very. I don't know, I would have called it 80s, but it's not from the 80s, because it must be... What like... was the first one you said was named End World? End Game. Name. New 52 End Game. Let's see. And then the last one they included was called Batman and Robin. It was the first time Dick Grayson was Batman, with Damien as his Robin, and they have to fight Professor Pig, who I know from Arkham Knight. Yeah, I recognise this art style. And it was okay, it has the same art style as Endgame, because I, th I assume it's the same artist that stuck with New 52 all the way through. And it was okay, but it wasn't much of a good story. I think that this artist drew some for the... the um... What was the... Oh, shit, what was the name again? I'm going to go check what I need to do on the weekly now. <laughs> well, of course, trying the, to one remember. Where, the one where Superman turns evil. <laughs> that could be like 50 different times. Sora has an empty shower gel bottle. Yeah, I gave her a new one the other day. She the likes one that them. has a video game. Um, uh, a video game where Superman turns mean, evil. But, uh, <laughs> I can't remember the name. Now. What's the name? I know which one you mean. A video game where Superman Injustice, turns Injustice, yeah. Injustice, that's the one. Oh, CR, of course. Injustice and Injustice 2. I keep forgetting those were a thing, even though I liked them from a story perspective. The comics were better. He teleports into the ocean, voice. grabs a great white again. shark, and then teleports it into the blob's stomach. I was close. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting way to kill someone. What are you doing lying like that? Exposing yourself to the camera dog. Nah. Well, in Injustice was good and bad and good and bad. They had really ups and downs. I liked Injustice. 
and Injustice 2 was okay. <clears throat> I'm guessing you need more tempered monsters and more Elder's Recess. Cookabeans, so last time you were here you got gifted a subscription. I don't remember who by. <laughs> In that universe, Nightcrawler was married and the blob ate Nightwing, uh, Nightcrawler's wife. Okay. <laughs> Why a shark, though? <laughs> Sorry, that's my foot you're eating. Because the dinosaurs were wiped out. Oh, well, that makes sense. That's just logic. Uh, let's see. Why well, am I only at progress one out of four for Elder's Recess? Is that the first Elder Recess I've done? Yes. Oh, yeah, I need one more tempered and three more in Elder's Recess. So I guess we could knock I... out one tempered of some variety in Elder's Recess and then... I don't really have any good ones in Elders Recess, mm. just Elders. I don't think you want to fight a, a Kushala in Elders Recess. No, Kushala gets way too annoying in the last area. I agree. I have a Teostra. It's ju it's two feints in Elders Recess. Let me see if I have some. Yes, please do. I should be getting another delivery of comics soon. I don't remember what it said the next one was, but they send them in bulk, so it'd be a pleasant surprise. Another I have a... Teostra. Yeah, I have a tempered Teostra and uh, the Elder's uh, Resist too. I really hate it, yeah. but okay. Let's do it. Uh, what's yours? Uh, 50 minutes, 3 feints, 3 rewards. Okay, well, let's take yours then. Okay, let me just quickly change weapon and I'll post. <clears throat> I'm gonna take uh, Elder Seal weapon for no particular reason. <laughs> I'm taking Aloy's bow. If not, then I have a tempered basil capture quest in Elder's result recess. <laughs> that wouldn't be so bad. Tempered basil is super easy. Yeah, but it's not a kill quest. Yeah. Tai yeah, has a tempered Urgan apparently, so we can maybe do that after this one. Oh right, did you post it? <laughs> yes. Uh, it was the other day that you got gifted at Coco Bean. It wasn't today. Uh, I don't see. Oh, there we go. I don't want to see. It's more like it. Where does Teostra usually spawn? In the volcano, right? Uh, yeah. I think North, northwest, northwest camp, and mm. you exit towards the fire area, and it should be right Boop. there. Don't forget cold drinks. All items set minus traps. There we go, that should be it. <coughs> go full try hard mode. Please do. I should I... probably wear an actual armor. Yeah, that will probably help. Yeah, the is wearing that tank as well. Good, good. Cor, have you been following the new season of My Hero Academia anime? No, I have still not um, actually found a website that I like to watch it. You mean watch it I... legally, of course. Yes, legally, of course. <laughs> I just want to know if they're up to the fight, the other fight I want to see yet, but I don't think they are. Yeah, no, I want to. I tried to find where to read it instead. Oh, I can show you that. But... But again, I did, couldn't find a legal site, I really... <laughs> well, see, I have got an illegal site where you can read it for free, but I am but... also buying every edition of it as it comes out in volumes. Why is European Crunchyroll so shit? <laughs> yeah, no, right. yeah, no, European Crunchyroll doesn't have anything on it. Something it does have, though, is the Blade and Soul anime. Don't watch it. <laughs> I made the mistake of watching it. It has the most bland, uninteresting character and story I've ever seen. Have hurty spots been hit? Yes, many times. Ready up, Court. Ready yeah, up, Court. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no. The only good part about that anime is that the main the main villain actually speaks instead of whispers in the anime compared to the main game. Amazing. But yeah, it's absolute garbage. Oh, thank you, Marcola. Uh, they're getting near then. That'll probably be like two episodes then. Oh, that part. Yeah, yes. I remember that part. If United <sighs> States of Smash is not ten times more epic than Plus Ultra, I'm going to be incredibly disappointed. 
Because that's all I'm waiting for. It's actually my favorite moment in the anime. Uh, in the manga, rather. It hasn't been topped yet. <clears throat> I'm sure pro they probably have updated a lot since last I read it. Oh yeah, the most recent manga arc was uh, Angry YouTuber Villain. I see. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the last time I I read it, it was when they encountered the, the big baddie. You know, the biggest baddie. Y yes, yes. Big daddy baddie. The big, <laughs> the big daddy baddie. <laughs> well, that was a long time ago, because it's, it's about to be yeah. in anime form. Mm -hmm. That was ages ago. It's been a while since I read it. Ignore that I am missing every single hit. <laughs> oh god. This also is a big your flash pots for the Nova. Also, did you hear the seagull? I heard it oh. there, I think. Okay. Yep, yeah, 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 I heard yep, it there. Yep, for sure. There it is. It's but it's very frank. No, he's actually named Steve. Steve the Seagull. That's a, that's yeah. Very predictable. We've na we named him in the um, FC Discord I ha we have since he appears very often and he likes to sit in my window. <laughs> Do you have food out there or something? Or no, he just, sits, he just sits there. I'm assuming it's, it's because I... Mm. No, I, I'm assuming because I live and my window is right above like a busy street. Oh god, I'm stuck under his fire. I'm bu by busy street, I mean busy for Norway. <laughs> I'm using the Aloy bow. Because it's actually good if you have free element on it. Yeah. It's also good if you have an uh, elementalist. Yes. Go away, Tilstra, go away, Tilstra, go away, Tilstra, go away, Tilstra. Oh, that hurts. I'm gonna burn now. I didn't burn. God, his armor just is what makes us so annoying when he's tempered. I know, that's my response to it as well. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no! Who knocked me over? Who knocked me over? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, one of them was free. <laughs> <laughs> I was mad. Now, I'm not saying that. it was Ty, but he is a longsword user. And I was miles away and not firing because I was looking at my dog, so... I was in the air while that <laughs> I only survived because I had evaded Xander and managed to hop through the explosion. Wow. <laughs> I made the mistake of doing the spin to win attack, attack for uh -oh, uh -oh, Hammer. Uh -oh, uh -oh. It wasn't as win as I wanted it to be. Let's see, you have any food on me? You can just get an ancient potion from the tent. Yeah, but I meant like rations and all that since yeah. I already have max health. Was that the seagull? <laughs> yes. Holy crap. Gee, okay, was well, the, we heard it that, that was time. The that was the seagull leaving my window. <laughs> it was, just, ah, it was announcing nice. its departure. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was loud. Yeah. Wow. That, that's fire. Oh boy, my arrows are bouncing on ev off everything except the head again. And oh, if you I fire at the head, you get flamethrowered. God, that flint throw looks so much longer than it is. Wait, he has a short yeah, one and a long one. Yeah, it used to be longer. Ow. He doesn't use the long one as often anymore. No, that's true. Ow. Maybe this one. It's because it's the high rank version, not the G He's rank version. Oh, and I love getting stunned by an extra long roar so that you can do an attack that you can't avoid. Yeah, Great mechanic, right. that. Certainly not tacky and artificial difficulty at all. Invest in air plugs, you know, the skill that isn't anywhere in this game, basically. Yep. The hunting horn I was using had it. Air <clears throat> plugs, for some reason, is really hard to get in this oh, game. Yes, oh, he's gonna explode soon. Yeah. I, I don't want to get close. Yeah. I don't want to get close to him. <clears throat> well, I ain't wasting items at this point, so. Oh. oh, this. I thought you said this at 50 minutes. No. 
Did you say 15 minutes? Uh, yes. 15. Oh, okay. And Temper have really low HP. Oh. Okay, we won't be doing toast rope. Tacky piece of shit that it is. <clears throat> no, we'll just do the Oregon. Alright. What makes the elders so unlikable in this game? They're just tacky, and when tempered, worse. I mean, the normal elders I think are okay, but tempered are a bit meh. I mean, every game seems to have this really stupid oh, mechanic of it hits harder. It's because it's a lazy way to improve difficulty, mm. and if anything, we know they're lazy. Hey, we don't need to fight it again, so that's fine. You posted your quest, Titan? <laughs> Zora Magdoros has appeared. <clears throat> Skill on the... Let's see. Right. Uh. Oh. Not yet, no. No, this controller is mine, dog. Piss off. And I think it's posted. It is. Yep, yep it is. Just... Oh, not optional. They'll be adding <laughs> Brachydose eventually, can't say, but I don't think they'll add Raging. They might. They might just they might change the normal event. Brachy so that it acts like Raging. Get off my... I mean, once Bracky is in, it wouldn't be too hard to make Raging Bracky. Raging Bla Bracky and... Was it Blast Bla Blast Tigrex? The Molten Tigrex. Molten Tigrex, that that's the one, yeah. The one that runs around for five minutes and you get to hit it for a minute and then it runs around for five minutes again? Yep. Yes! Well, wait, that's releasing Blast everywhere. That's still less annoying than Tempered Elders than this. I liked fighting Molten. True. Tempered Molten Tigrex. That would yep, be wait. not worth doing. Tempered Golden and Silver Rathian. It's like Tempered Rathian. Devil Joe, it's not worth doing more than once just to say you've done it. Because <clears throat> it's just not worth the hassle. Mm. Funnily enough, the one, the Elder I use, I do the most tempered of is Kushala. Since I find it the easiest abuse that are weak to flash bombs. But they, they're they invincible to flash bombs after five now. Or three or whatever oh. it is. Oh yeah, they updated yeah, that. I think it's five. Yeah, you yep. see, we had an unfair advantage, so... They made the monster have yet another unfair advantage. On top of the other unfair advantages they already have when they're tempered. Mm. Like roaring you into Kush a move that can one-shot you, for instance. And since Kushala's wind is abnormal, the wind negates doesn't work on it unless you're using Kushala's armor. Or you have that really rare decoration to use. Or the hunting horn buff. Uh, negate all wind pressure actually works too against oh, Kushala. I just realized, you know, when who was it? Was it the other Chris, not Chris B, earlier said that the community manager for months on her hinted that something would be coming soon? I'm forgetting the E3 is around the corner, so it, that would be yep. why the Capcom live stream isn't showing anything because they'll have something planned for that. But don't but, yeah. you know? Nintendo will win E3 again. I have a friend who's really into Nintendo and he keeps saying that every year. Are they aware that Nintendo hasn't been at E3 for three years now? They stopped going there and doing conferences because it wasn't worth their time. Yeah. Do you think this person actually pays attention to what Nintendo does? I no, mean, they it do. It doesn't like, sound like it. That should be an obvious indication that they don't. Mm -hmm. Hmm. A very obvious detachment from reality. Yep, sounds like a Nintendo fan, all right. Okay, here's some urchin. I do like working over there. I do like that every it's time weird. I bring I bring up his complete like bias towards Nintendo. He 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 has to bring up Monster Hunter. It's like that's a single game. So like, I love the game, but I hate Capcom. It's not made directly by Capcom. So that's on. Yeah, okay. I know. That's allowed. They're just bankrolling it. 
And now Monster Hunter is bankrolling them. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <clears throat> it's just like... I love Cap... I love... I almost said I love Capcom. I love Monster yeah. Hunter. <laughs> but it has flaws. It has things it does badly. But I still like it more than any other game. Mm-hmm. That's fair. That's what's called a balanced opinion. That's good. But you're not allowed to have those online. You have to be in one camp or the other. Well, I can't believe I'm put on the spot like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God damn I, I think, like, I think my main reason for it that I don't really like games as much as Monster Hunter is just that no combat seems to scratch that itch for me. Hey, Basil, fuck up. I was using that. Well, Dragon's uh, Dogma kind of came close to... The um, Monster Hunters scratches for me, but the combat is too of... different. The combat is too different. It doesn't have the same action combat. Oh, you know, it's... Dragon's Dogma Online. They added the DLC area. They added to Dragon's Dogma with the, like uh, the Grim Reaper, whatever that was called. Yeah, what was it called uh, again? With the Black Isle. That's yeah. the one. Yeah, that's in online now. I watched the Capcom live stream where they they were trying to fight death. Okay, but <laughs> English version then. Yeah, it's probably never. Better. Normal subscription model MMOs don't work here anymore. Unless they're Final Fantasy XIV. Well, yeah, yes. Have you seen how much fourteen has gone down lately though? After Stormblood launched, holy shit, the quality has gone down so much. Have the, they, the new story elements not been very good? or? Uh, the story is pretty bad. They uh, keep cutting... They keep cutting corners because uh, Eureka and Eureka keeps disappointing. I, hang on, I need to clean up the dog. There's too many monsters around and I don't have fire. And now Eureka got delayed again. Oh, I thought you were talking about that Ninja Dragon lady, but you're talking about that game mode. Mm hmm. Alright, I guess I'll just have to try and be safe here. Bear with me. I lost, I actually oh, lost track of where Eureka is. Good. I think he just went uh, through a tunnel, so he warped to the other side of the map. Probably. But then uh, it's like, as you've probably seen, most of the people in RFC has been playing Elder Scrolls Online lately. Yes, I've seen. Since we've just gotten so bored of everything that's happened in Final Fantasy. It's just, every... the updates keep disappointing. It's just, content seems to be going at a slower pace, and every time they do update now, it seems to disappoint. There's nothing yeah. really new. It's just rehashed okay, things. Okay, my life. That's swell. Alright, you were saying about Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I was ta saying that um, updates have been going slower li lately. They've been cutting resources since they put resources into Eureka, which keep get keeps getting delayed because they decided to redo the entire thing. Well, isn't that and because yeah, people hated it? I remember you complaining about it. No, they... they so they made Eureka, then they didn't release that and remade it as something people hated. Oh. And, <clears throat> and now they've delayed re Eureka, the newest update to Eureka again. And content suffers from it because there's not enough to keep players occupied since they yes. go through all the content in like five minutes. Yep, that's the eternal struggle. Have they so, considered making Final Fantasy XIV and uh, Battle Royale? I'm okay. sure they have. And the main problem with 14 is that the combat isn't deep enough to, like, make normal content work. They have to be big fights against, like, big mo big bosses. With lots of lines to dodge on the floor. Yes. Yeah. So many lines. Yeah. Lots of mechanics. Oh, by the way, the newest boss in the new raid has math in it. Oh, yeah. no. That's asking too much. Numbers. And people can't clear it because they have to do simple math. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I couldn't do the math of 1 plus 1 equals the Gurgan's chin. Mm. <laughs> I haven't done the new raid yet, so I wouldn't know. Uh, still, I was listening to everyone complain about people not being able to play it yesterday. I was playing Elder Scrolls Online instead. What a surprise. <laughs> hey man, the Somerset is pretty fun. I like it. I do not share your experience opinion. I think it's kind of boring. I mean, that was my uh, that was me during the entirety of Morrowind because fuck that place. There's <laughs> nothing. To Vivek do is fun. He is so boring. Vivek is none fun. Of, none of the characters in Morrowind was interesting. Like none of them said anything interesting. All of them was just racist assholes. 
There's literally all of them, like... The High Elves are later. racist as well. Well, a few of them. Most of them. Excuse you, there's like two of them. <laughs> as no, you the, said the, when you were being racist towards a Khajiit. It's different. Raz. He's annoying. Raz is like, Raz is like the gem of Elish Dolls. He's annoying and I don't even know who he he's, is. He's the character literally everyone loves. Why? He doesn't have a personality. He is he is personality, that's him. He has probably the most developed personality he says, I've seen in him. He says stereotypical Khajiit things, that's it. Well, then maybe you should pay attention to what he actually says and not how he speaks. Just, he hasn't done anything, he keeps on telling me to do things for him because it's an MMO. I don't know, he's more like, he's like a, he's like the, what's called, comedic character. He's a bit funny, um, he can be serious at times. Oh, so the Psychic Order? What, it's not Psychic. What is it? Sijic? Sijic. That's so, Sijic. That yeah. skill tree is so bad. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, but, and you have to just go on a fetch quest for finding portals and they're not mapped on your map. So you have to read a map because your actual map doesn't have them marked. That sounds and like... And to level um, up you have to go do it in different areas after Somerset. Nice. Yeah, it's really bad. Yeah, I am. I haven't paid attention to it since it didn't interest me. Yeah, I am I'm I thoroughly just, disappointed in Somerset so far. The quest has been boring as well. I just did story. Because the game does that pretty well. It does storytelling more than more, most MMOs. See, I remember like the, the, the vigilante quest line in Morrowind and the one with that assassin lady. They're good. There's nothing like that in Somerset. Oh, yeah. So far. Um, are you? What's that her name? I don't remember her name. I think that was her name. She was pretty fun. But that was pretty much the only interesting thing in Morrowind. What about the Vigilante? The Scarlet whatever? Yeah. And then you become oh. him, and then you get your secret base and all that stuff. It's fun. That's pretty useless. But you get to be a Vigilante. And uh, then you get his shitty outfit. Yeah. I think I kind of thought that was meant to be goofy on purpose. It has flower petals on it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> It looks like someone's, someone's grandma dressed up as a super. <laughs> I, I just like the high elf aesthetic much, much more. I can appreciate gold, um, pretty looks. Did you play the original Morrowind release? No. Maybe that's why I've got more nostalgia for it then. I don't own nostalgia for any game really. Monster. Yeah, but that's Monster Hunter. Yeah, oh you see, if I had nostalgia, I would be screaming Freedom Unite is better. <laughs> it wasn't, though. Oh, no. <clears throat> uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, his tail pushed me away from the explosives, thank you. I still say Hypnocatrice was the best monster. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> that was such an un un uninteresting monster. It had, like, nothing to act. Like, it wasn't an interesting monster at all, it was just a bird. Yeah, it was just a bird, and you kill it, and then you move on. Hey, Pukey Pukey's a bird. Again. Yeah, but... This was just actually, a giant chicken, that was it. Yeah, it was like, Kutku was supposed to teach you the mechanics of, like, everything. It had, like, a, li a little bit of everything. And then there was hip talk, hip whatever, bird that didn't do anything. It was yeah. just like, well, I'm gonna spend 20 seconds killing this, also, okay, let's go. That was the fight. Why is it still alive? Oh. Tempered. Tempered, Tempered has less. Out. I thought it was just no, it only affected the attack, not the health. That always felt to me like they went down quicker. Probably because people usually do them a bit more aggressively. Hmm. <coughs> I actually thought he the lived down here, but I guess he wasn't at that point. I mean, he hard. is ready to trap, but um, just oh, want to kill him. Yeah. I keep getting stunned by someone's longsword. I don't hmm. know if it's Ty's or Valonar's. It's mine. <laughs> it's mine. It's always mine. At least he admitted it. Now See, if he's not, if he's not using. No, he's trapping it. Or... No. Oh, I can't. he was almost dead. But yeah, uh, like Monster Hunter is one of those <laughs> series that the more games it gets, the better it gets. Since yep. the, it's always better than the previous one, except for until the one of them gets worse. Except for generations. Generations was Generations good. Generations was okay. It was okay, but it wasn't better than 4 Ultimates. Yeah, it was about the same level. Yeah. I'd uh, say. I like 4 Ultimates. So you're not buying a Switch for no. Generations Ultimate, <laughs> then? 
We got a gem. Ah, yes. I got the steam stone. Time to get a switch. World, you were a good fill in, but now for the real <laughs> sequel of. <laughs> oh, got a health gem. Nice. Uh, I don't remember which setup I wanted that for. Swords but... and great swords. Okay. Turn 91. Okay, so I liked some part of like Vivex uh, when Vivex. I like Sothasil a lot. He's really nice. Sothasil is pretty cool. If you meet him in Somerset, I haven't met him yet. I won't say you do, but you do. I mean, I have been in his office, so I assumed. <laughs> the office with a giant mech? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like him. He's pretty cool. I like that he seems cool to not dude. care. He doesn't seem to care one way or another. He's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to help you if uh, whatever. <laughs> Sounds like you. Yeah, that would maybe. I would be the worst tribunal. So that was my last temper. Now we just need stuff in the outer recess. So Thassel isn't technically in Morrowind. He has his own place, the Clockwork City. Which is like in its own pocket dimension, kinda. Nerd. Oh. Let's capture a devil Joe in Elder's Recess. Okay. Uh. So I'm just kind of going backwards and forwards, trying to attack my feet in the PS4 controller. But she's grown bored of her bottle. There's your bottle. It's in your bed, right? Right there. But yeah. Uh... Elder Scrolls Online is definitely a game that's better played with friends than alone. I disagree. I wish there was better a way to make all other players invisible. Better played with friends than alone. I didn't say randoms. I, I just don't want people in the way. I, I play Elder Scrolls games as a solo experience. I play them with friends. I'm a social player. I like co-op as well, just not in my Elder Scrolls. See, that's the thing. I don't. I so don't you wouldn't any... be happy if they announce a Fallout MMO? No. Hmm. Too late. Wait, has it been done? I don't think so. I think it's just a rumor. No, it's gonna be Fallout Battle Royale, obviously. <laughs> well, obviously, yes. Well, speaking of which, there's a, like a, there's a Battlefield Five announcement either tonight or tomorrow where we're gonna all be or pretend to be shocked when it's just full on Battle Royale. Okay, yep, no, live no, reveal um... today. In fact, yeah, it's later tonight. In fact, it might I be think, on right uh, now. I think the big, the big like companies are realizing that MMOs aren't that good. They like, aren't that. Uh, MMOs are expensive to make, and they don't bring a lot of profit. Yeah, they aren't that profitable. Profitable, and they are very expensive in production, and you have upkeep, to put a lot yeah. of money, money into upkeep. <clears throat> Speaking of which, be around at the usual time tomorrow for some Fortnite. If possible. Okay. What does everyone think of WoW? Never really put much time into it. Didn't like it. Too dated, too ugly. Played it a bit. I can appreciate the art style. Combat is very dated. Uh, I played it during Burning Crusade. I thought it was alright. Yeah. Then I stopped playing it. It it has very wise. I was I would say my main problem with that game is that it it's really good at just tr trashing old content. Like, old content is never used again, basically. Get a new character, they, level straight up to 80! Yeah, but they want to rush people to max level, essentially. So you, if you start now, you will skip, like, 90% of the game. What do these buttons do? You don't care, you're level 100. Mm. Just press all the buttons and watch things die. Whoop. Zeppo, you I played it for thousands of hours? I don't even know you anymore. I used to play it back when it was in Burning Crusade. I played some in Vanilla and then I played Bur um, what was it? What was the one? Cataclysm, was it? Well, there yeah. was a expansion called that. Frozen Throne was between Burning I Crusade did. and Cataclysm, I think. Or yeah, I didn't play Something Frozen like Throne. I played uh, Cataclysm, Burning Crusade, and Van Vanilla, and then some again in Legion. But I never really got caught in that MMO. It was just not my thing, I guess. I don't really like the look of it. 
Yeah, it looks pretty dated at this point. They don't think a, a graphics revival a la like EverQuest 2, I think. I think it would be too, I think it would be too expensive for them to actually just remake it since more people would play the vanilla one anyway. They did the graphics overhaul well well at one point, didn't they? Yeah, they increased the polygons like some, and some animation models, upgrades. Yeah. But uh, they can't they can't change the core of the mm. game. But, uh, it's like they it would be too much mo money to invest to remake it entirely when everyone would just play the old one anyways anyway since yeah. they are nostalgia is the heaviest factor in that game. You know they're bringing in Final Fantasy XI on phones. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, you couldn't pay me to play that again. <laughs> you see, I have the same thoughts about Final Fantasy. How how did I? What? I wasn't. I didn't run out of stamina. Oh, there you just are. Just decided right? you aren't aren't worthy of the mount. Yeah. Uh, did you remember a cold drink? Nope. That might be why Is your that... stamina was gone. Oh, we know that's your HP. Yeah. But then um, I have the same type of nostalgia for. Oh, Final Fantasy, did you see that? Oh, yeah. the, the fish flipped out the, the lava fish, and caught Devil jump. Jonah's jump. Yeah. That was awesome. Nice. That was pretty good with the fish. Yeah. I still hate still the fish. Still is fast enough. Yeah. Hmm. But, yeah I, I have the same amount of nostalgia for Final Fantasy as I have for Elder Scrolls. I have never played any of the older games. Some uh, of them are pretty good. Final Fantasy XI was really bad. good. I played the one with the bunny girl and I hated it. Yeah, You're right to well, hate it. It's it's, let's say it's divisive, I guess. Yeah. It had a bunny some, girl though. Some people really <laughs> love it, some the people... Bunny girl had a name. It. Fran. Which is a stupid name. <laughs> she will forever be bunny you mean girl. Chewbacca? Sorry, her name was Chewbacca. Yeah. I confused her with the character from Star Wars movies called Fran. <laughs> yes. But, yeah. I hope that future updates for 14 gets better because holy shit. And if I cancel my subscription on that, I really should. <laughs> Double breath. Anyway, for now I enjoy Elder Scrolls until I get bored of that and move on to the next one. Again, yes. Yeah. I mean, that's how I work. I go to game, all the games when I get bored. Mm -hmm. yep. Because why Why stay in something you don't like anymore? Speaking of which, when are you going back to Overwatch? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> good job. Ah, good job. Mm. Uh, never gonna install that one again. But they've added more it's... skins. Have they added wow. more tanks yet, so you can have a uh, six tank? Oh, they, fi up. they fixed Tanzo and they're fixing Smetro. Isn't, isn't what Dive Meta the, the current thing? I yeah, think, or was I the mean, last it's month? still an unbalanced piece of shit, obviously, but it's never not to be that kind of inherently imbalanced. What does fixed Symmetra mean? They're testing like an entire total rework, putting her into the defense category, which is where she should be. Uh, this is all she, like an interview with stuff they're testing. Healer? No, she's not a healer, as it turns out. They're removing oh, her her uh, shield generator entirely. Again, Take this is all testing, so it might not go to live, but her ult is actually the photon barrier that she has now on her E, except it's got 5,000 HP and stretches out the length of the level in the direction it faces. So it's like a super shield. Uh, huh? okay. And she only has three turrets, but she can launch them, and they have a little bit more health and do a little bit more damage and a little bit more slow. And Can her gun is changed to be like Zarya's, where it doesn't lock on, but it still does more damage the more you channel it on someone. Okay. That seems okay, I guess. The, the okay. auto aim beam was my mo most was my main problem with her. Really. Yeah. That oh, since that shouldn't be in an FPS. And her E is her teleport, and it's just like you point where you want the exit to be, and then the entrance appears where you are, I think, and then it just lasts a little while with unlimited juices. Hmm. Okay. How did they fix Anzo? Did they remove him? The scatter arrow is gone. Oh. He, he, he charges up his bow and then you can rapid fire, but you have to aim where you're firing. Well, you have to aim? Yeah. Wow. 
See, I'm ca I'm calling it now the next hero to be added in uh, <clears throat> Overwatch is the Fortnite shotgun. <laughs> that would be imbalanced. Oh, did you just I saw I saw like I don't know if it was like a fan a fan character or a or like a scrapped character for Overwatch, but I saw someone tweet like a pic um not a picture a note that said a character that was riding a bear and was dual wielding AK 47s <laughs> Of course, and that's not real. And when when she, when she used her ult, the bear would stand up on two and also use AK. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds so much more like something you would see in Fortnite, honestly. <laughs> it was the bear. <clears throat> oh yeah, you know that jetpack they've added? I didn't notice until I read the patch notes, but they said this is the first of a new set of backpack pick upables so we could totally have a thing where you pick up a teddy with machine guns and have it on your back until you deploy it. I'd love for them to do that. <clears throat> so yeah, but they, they made a mistake when they didn't add her into the game. Yes. The AK-47 woman. What would they call her? Quad shot. Quad okay. roar. See, you actually don't play as the woman, you play as the bear and the woman is just there. Yeah, yeah. That will work. Oh. <clears throat> Azure wants to see the bear woman. It was earlier on my feed today, so I will have to scroll through a lot of tweets to find that. Eh. You see, with the Thundercats one, I just had to scroll through someone else's feed. And that's much easier. Because <clears throat> they don't tweet as much as you. No, I don't tweet. I don't bar barely tweet at all. It's oh, right, it's a cat quest. Is he almost dead? I, I don't, don't think so. Oh, no, he's not. He doesn't have a But when I look through my own feed, I look through everyone's tweets, you know. Mm -hmm. If I went to my profile, I would find tweets quicker, but I don't retweet that much. And I don't tweet that much. And I never favorite anything. <laughs> I am the best person to be on Twitter. I don't use any of the features. <laughs> well, I use it to make up. snarky remarks about the gaming industry. NPT. I nice. use it sometimes to talk about art and post porn. Hmm. Hmm. How weird. Are you almost done with the thumbnail? I could be. What does that mean? <laughs> it means I've been dying of heat lately. I had to buy a fan. Alright, so you mean like when you do have the drive to do it, you can finish it? But I have, tried, I have like been... Okay, so the thing is, with this heat, my tablet gets really, really warm. And that makes me worried every time I touch it. Mm. Like, when you see smoke coming out of something, you need that much and is that expensive. You don't want to use it that much. How hot is it for you? I, it's only like 25, 26 now. But the tablet already gets very warm uh, when it's cold. Oh. Oh, it overheats very quickly. I don't know why. It feels like an, a thing that expensive shouldn't be that fragile. Yeah, no, it, it, it definitely isn't like overheating. I just get worried. And the heat from the tablet makes me feel very sleepy. <laughs> Since it's... Okay, so the, if you want to know details about my insomnia, uh, I get tired from sunlight. Nice. So when the sun is at the highest, I get very tired. Are you That's actually maybe I... just a vampire and you don't realize it? Is the seagull oh. a vampire and it's turned you? Oh. You're its thrall. No. Does it have fangs? No. <laughs> now I want to see Does a Steve seagull. Does the seagull with... have fangs? <laughs> but yeah. Um, so yeah, it's that's why I usually have a very fucked up sleep schedule because I am the most active at night. Put a clove of garlic on your windowsill to see what happens. <laughs> Can this thing, like, get weak now? Yeah, I'm surprised it's not at Death's door yet. It's gotta be close. Oh, 
am trying my best to charge up my hammer, <coughs> but I keep getting hit by something. If only... I seriously didn't I do it. That was my best attack and he's still standing. Ah. <coughs> I really need to get to drawing again because I really hate when I don't draw. It's kind of like that whole thing when you feel like you ha you haven't done something you need to do for a while. Mm -hmm. yeah. you just feel crappy. Every time I go into my living room and see the boxes I haven't unpacked yet. <laughs> <laughs> I forget these guys exist since usually you fight uh, Elder Dragons on this map. Yep. No, 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 no. 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 Are, you, are, you, are you sure? I see skulls. Okay. Alright. Is this is, game is worth playing? Is he in that? He is not in that. No, he, no. he's not in that yet. So he <laughs> needs to stand up. Is this game worth buying? I have 450 hours in this now. No. In other words. Ha! <laughs> he turned around to <laughs> leave. Good pickle. Oh, the dog sorted off at some point. Okay, well, we can just go... Save. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm also at around like 450 hours in this game. Sometimes I need to like check actually how hot my tablet gets. Since I know it's not like dangerous hot, it's just worryingly hot. Hey, I got a gem. I did not, I got a bunch of tails. Also, I'm gonna go grab I... some water while I load back into the hub. Yeah, I got like four tails too. That's my can, has run out of can juice. Can juice. Mm hmm. Pick another topic for me coming back. Well, so uh, what are we going to talk about when he gets back? Uh, weep shit? What are you doing over here? Uh, hmm. Help us out here, chat. Well. Let's talk about how, um, what was his name again? The artist for Dragon Ball Super. Uh, Shit. Hmm. I haven't seen Super. The one who draws the manga. What was his name again? Chat! Help help me. What was the name of uh, Toriyama's assistant? Toyotaro? Yeah, Toyotaro. Apparently he was uh, caught tracing art from Marvel. <laughs> nice. Uh. Get off my chair. <clears throat> so that's that's a thing going on. <sighs> hmm. I'm gonna turn Puppy Cam back on to show you what I found Sora doing. I was uh, saying that to uh, Toyotaro, the artist behind Dragon Ball Super Manga, was caught tracing Marvel. Oh dear. <laughs> Apparently oh. he's he's known for tracing. Let me see. Hang on, well, on that subject, because it's tangentially connected, I keep part of my room guarded from Sora getting to it by putting her cage in a certain place because I have a bookshelf with books. Yeah. She's been getting on my bed more often lately, and now she's decided to explore the latter side of the bed, and I've found that she's been trying to eat my Marvel Encyclopedia. Bed dog. So, if we just go like that, she has I'll put... eaten part of the cover up there, the pages there, and the back there. I put Oof. the image in question yep. in the That's Discord. That's pretty, pretty bad. Yep. She's only done that tonight, I think, because I would have heard it. Like, she tipped her over and it's a bloody heavy book. So, you, see this. This was bloody expensive. Yeah, you better run. Don't lie down. 
So now I'm going to have to find a new stopgap method of her not getting on the bed at all so that she doesn't get to the far side of it. Because I was worried about reading my books. And my worries were correct. Also, I put the thing in Discord, the Discord uh, chat. Yeah, it's pretty spot on, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's the thing that's been going around on my feeds lately. But that's uh, that's not a finished drawing he's done, right? Is that just like him practicing no, or something? No, the one I put the below that. The cover. Oh, yeah. hang on. It's the cover. So. <clears throat> Wait, the second one I just see like the cover of a magazine. Oh, yeah, but that's it's on it's on the cover of a magazine. Like it's the main pulse of Goku there. Oh right, yeah, it's just zoomed in a bit so it was throwing me off a little. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> Hello Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Get away from there. She was just trying to sneak another look at the book. I'd like heard about him tracing before, I just uh, haven't hmm. seen this big before. I have he's usually usually he's like tracing he's tracing old DBZ comics rather than <clears throat> actual other artists. Try tinfoil. Oh would that scare her I take it? In the meantime, I'll just try and block off my books. Somehow. You could use your boxes. <clears throat> Put them there instead. Yeah. There's not enough room, they're big boxes. Ah, uh, I see. Yes, some gun lance was refusing to load there for me. There we go. Well. Lying down beside me now. Okay, what weapon should I use for this then? The hell is a scat mat? Jim Bob is um, certain. <clears throat> is it a product by Scatman John? Yes. Oh, you want me to link it? Okay, hang on. I'm not going to bother linking it on the cover of presumably Shonen Jump. Wait, did you just you just dropped it in? You didn't link to it though. Yeah. So I don't think I can link to it for chat. Oh no, I uh, can copy link. Yeah. Well, yeah. You can also just yeah you can. God, is it a super long link though? No, it's not that long. There you go. Also ready up. Oh yeah, right. <clears throat> right. And yes, drawing from any perspective is really hard. Isn't that hand wrong? Isn't it bent the wrong way? Yeah, no, that's what someone pointed out. It's just, it's the same drawing with the hand flipped a bit. Oh, right, yeah, but it's easier to tell because his arm's naked, so you can see that it's not quite right. Uh, it kind of looks painful. I mean, in the Captain America one, the elbow is more pronounced, like the point of the elbow, so it doesn't seem as bad. But yeah, it's twisted a bit wrong in his trace of it. Like, there's one, one thing of taking inspiration, there's another thing to just commercial, like, to trace something for something commercial. Could he technically just be good enough that he could look at it and do it almost pinpoint without tracing? Is that a thing? I mean... It is Maybe. something that's happened before, but it's just this is too close to actually be the same thing. But I mean, either way, it does seem like he looked at it at the very least. Yeah. It's just a, such a strange pose to trace, for, especially for that cover. Also, the is Azure it... is not necessary, right? It was the Dodo Gamma and Ergen, or was it the other way around? I think it was Azure and Dodo. Oh, that's right, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure, I remembered. I picked this quest mm -hmm. knowing full well what it was. Paying total attention. Hello. Hello. Thank you for so the So why are you making us kill the therapy boy? 
because I want Elder Recess, that is easy. I oh, see. my Twitch chat was acting up again because I got welcome to the chat room twice, but I don't think that was an internet thing. I think that was just a Twitch thing. Welcome to the chat room. I also went the long way to get back to the camp because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, the silent guy who is silent. Everyone say welcome to the chat room, Flick. Nope. <laughs> yes, do it. <laughs> you can think for yourselves, don't do what he tells you. Ah! Boom. She's so didn't it. like that. Yep. I'm just gonna quickly go check the dog isn't charge. at the far end of my room again. Is that is his head broken? No, it's not. Not yet. I didn't hear that would be great, dog. So I can keep an eye on you. It's not my birthday yet. It's fairly close. I was gonna say same, but that's not true. I mean, you can just of lie. Most of my sames aren't true, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd suspected, yes. How weird. Looks like the Azure is helping us fight Dozo Gamma. He probably is. At times. Sometimes he doesn't like Dozo Gamma. Oh, he's dead. Really? No, no, he just fell over. <laughs> he just fell over. He falls over sometimes. Oh, he does have a skull, though. I kinda made Dodo Gamma warp a little bit there, too. Uh, I need to remember to bring with me antidotes. I think there's some antidote, antidote herbs around here. Might be helpful. Yeah. Right, right over there. It's fine. Where the Dodo Gamma is. Dodo Gamma is hoping to eat some of them because he's poison burn. Oh, yeah, it is. Hello, Mr. Ponchu. Let me eat them. I think you need to make the antidotes first. Yeah, but you only need to make them. Never double gang these days. Ah, yes. Now, let me eat this antidote. Is he mad? He is mad. Yes. I almost flashed that mount. Do it. Get revenge for all the times he's tricked us. How dare you! <laughs> you did the right thing. Double boom. Sonic boom. Sonic boom. Good night, Valentine. <laughs> I think the flying stomp thing is the most annoying thing they added to Rapples. Yep. yep. Since it also gets you poisoned. They do you flash bomb appropriately. Does every monster gain resistance to flash bombs? No, only tempered. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. I can't believe they figured out my strategy of being a total lazy asshole. <laughs> See, this is how you flash bomb. <laughs> when <to> sleep. <laughs> it's a bold strategy. And it's dead. Dave. Was that the last one we needed? I think so. Oh, I should go back to base and check. And get it handed in, because we're nearing stop time. We have time for, like, one more hunt, probably. Yep, that was the last one I needed. One more tempered Devil Joe. Did you know the peak performance is worn off? I don't think the yes. tempered Devil Joe is active I right now. I am not, yeah. Is 
So even if we wanted to, we can't do the Tampa Joe. <clears throat> Good. Wow. A little betrayed. Uh, I'm so sick of having to answer a crap ton of emails for the GDPR thing. The what now? The no, what? The, the privacy changes in Europe, so you have to confirm that you want to keep getting emails. Ah, yes, of course. It's not so bad on like, the personal account, I've just chosen to ignore most of them, because some of them are so desperate for you to stay signed up. It's like, stay on our mailing list and you're, you're in with a chance to win a Nintendo Wii. Or a gaming chair. <laughs> Careful with that, but my business account has yeah. just got tons of them and I have to respond to them. Disgusting. You can now win a Wii Classic. Just to be clear, that's retailers and things doing that, not PR companies. Well, obviously. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't sounding like I was slandering developers or publishers. I also keep on wanting to say GDPD, which is, no wait, GCPD rather. GDPD. No, G GCPD, which oh, yeah, is Gotham City first? Police Department, which is what you hear a billion times if you play any of the Arkham games. Yep. What are the event quests this week? The ones oh. we've just done. Isn't it the high rank Rio armor? In the arena. Yeah, we did that. Hmm. Also, not very good. The and a bunch of normal events. Yeah, but tune the, the fat one is just worth doing for the Great Jaguar's kills. Money? And money, sure. <laughs> Too many crap investigations. Need to delete all of these. Got my golden egg and gold Rivarian print. Hurrah! Hooray! So can Just in the nick of make time. Make gems whenever I need them. Ooh! Hmm, a pink Raffian faint two times for <coughs> players oh, 50 boy. minutes. It's tempered. Yeah, we can end on that if you want, yeah. I'm fine. I just need to load back into the hall. <laughs> I got a key I asked for for a Mega Man X X platformer game I quite like the look of. Sounds interesting. What's the name? It is called Fox Un Forests. I think I saw it on the PS Store. Yeah, it's on all consoles. Hmm. I went to the wrong one, Join Quest. Uh huh, okay. It looks kinda interesting. If it's a 16 bit sprite game with tight controls, I'm interested. I'm posting the quest now and to this camp. Yes. Wait, what? Oh, that's in the wild spire waste. Okay. Same. No, Carl, you're not in the wild spire wastes. Are you sure? Yeah. And I'm gonna use. Lance? Yes, I'll use Lance. You didn't sound sure, you should probably use something else. <sighs> yeah. You should use the hunting horn. Eh, not feeling the horn. <clears throat> Are you not? What about, You're doing what about the hunting horn, though? Have you thought about using the hunting horn? CR's been in the lobby this whole time and you didn't ask to get in. Sorry. You're dressed like a hooker. 
I know. Oh, it was on purpose. You know it. Hmm. Me with my hook your gauntlets. Yep, that's them, all right. <laughs> yep, that's that's the only part of you that's dressed like a hooker. Your gauntlets. Yeah. Oh, I just remembered the perfect thing I can cut off my bookshelf with. Before I got my gaming table for 40k, I had, like, uh, plywood cut into the size yep. in two halves for a 4x6 table. I don't know where they are. But if I can find them, that'd be... She wouldn't be able to jump over them, I don't think. Well, she might if she put her effort in, but she, she probably wouldn't realise. Okay, I'm going to need to try and find those. She'll do that after the stream. I'm pretty sure I took them in the move. I wouldn't have thrown them out. Hello, Reiji. Yep, final hunt. <laughs> Missed a lot of hunts prior to this one, though. And a little bit of uh -huh. runner, which was a bit meh. Now I got the welcome to the chat room. Hello hey, everyone, welcome, welcome court, court to the chat room. Yeah, welcome me. I have joined you. Witness him. I don't Try know what that means. From... Think it means you explode? Yeah, it means I'm dead. Oh. I mean, it means I'm gonna die. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. In a very explodey fashion. <laughs> Ask about Runer's music. It's terrible. It's terrible it wob 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 bad, wob wob yeah. wob. It, it was offensive to my ears. It wasn't even good, Wub Bob. It was bad, Wub Bob. Mm -hmm. But if you muted the music and played your own soundtrack over it, it wouldn't be super terrible. Yeah, I watched the I mean, thing okay, I guess. Yeah, it was just fine. It looked like a decent game. And it didn't cost much in the sale, so. Wub -wub. You could find worse on Steam. Oh, absolutely. I do. Wait, are we, where are we fighting Rathian? Pink Rathian no, is Pink the target. Rathian. Okay. So Prompt. we went to the wrong location. I didn't. She's right next to the camp. Yeah. I chose the wrong camp because I didn't nice. realize it was this map. Well, good thing you can travel whenever you want. Why the hell did she run off instantly? Oh, because Hunting Horn. A little aggrador from across the map. It's a pretty big one as well. Actually, we... Mm, no, maybe not. Oh, it may actually be small. Yeah, it's small. Never mind. It's pink. It is pink. Very shiny pink. Metallic pink. I shall now throw bright moss at her. Good shiny chrome. The real reason why I picked the wrong can. Okay, you had the good intentions then. The good intentions. The good intention. I will skip the Nintendo skip. I just, for some reason, I rem remember that someone retweeted a video of uh, Super Simpsons. Nintendo Chalmers. Yeah. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. I'm learning. Yeah, it's like. Finally, for the first time, this computer lab actually has a computer. Mm -hmm. You're quoting it correctly. Do you remember what Ralph was typing on the screen? No, since I they didn't it cut off before that, it no. was just. Oh, if you it, saw it, it recently, that's cheating. Yeah, I saw it this morning. Yeah. Since I don't watch Simpsons, it's it's a cat. He's typing cat, and it went meow when he finished the word. <laughs> Well, lately, like, old Simpsons clips have been getting more popular. I'm glad. Yeah, but what about new Simpsons clips, though? Well, I actually have, I actually haven't seen any new Simpsons clips ever, so I don't know what it actually is like. The last new Simpsons I saw was the Kesha intro, I think. Sounds horrible. The what? When like Lisa was like uh, singing the Kesha song. You know, Kesha, and the S is a dollar sign. I don't know yeah. what Kesha is. Kesha. 
It's a speed decision, I think. Oh. Yeah, they started doing the thing where like every celebrity guest is just themselves getting a cameo and plugging themselves rather than like playing a character. When the best That's cameos comedy. are people playing cam uh, characters, and they just happen to also be famous. That's comedy. Like Kelsey Grammer every time he saves so Bob. I've, I've seen like old <clears throat> clips from Simpsons when I was a kid, but I don't remember anything from the show. And yes, they all were like stuck in my head <laughs> from watching them too much. Yeah, I've never been a TV person. I would make TV. Is that a reference you get? No. Yeah, you might if you've seen the Johnny Depp remake. Make I TV was the character from Willy Wonka that got stuck inside a TV and turned to digital. He was called uh, Mike was TV built. and he only watched TV. I, You've never seen I've the film? Watched, I've only watched it once and I was the remake and I remember I didn't really Oh, the Johnny Depp remake much. is absolutely awful, but the Gene Wilde one is timeless. I didn't see either. You can probably watch it for free on YouTube. Do it. It's a wonderful musical. I've been watching uh, Netflix shows lately, since there's not much else I can do on the mountain when I'm with my parents. <laughs> what Netflix did you watch? Uh, I watched uh, Marvel's Defenders, which wasn't that good. I think I've seen a fight scene from that and it looks so hilariously bad, I yeah, never want to see yeah. anything from it again. So, all the fight scenes look like just people slapping each other. Nice. And it's supposed to be martial arts, but it just looks like people slapping each other <laughs> since they don't really do any camera work during it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I watched some Black Lightning, which was more, it was better than I actually expected. What is Black Lightning? Is that a hero or? He's a DC superhero. Oh, oh, DC wise, He's... I saw fight scenes from the Flash TV series, and those were even worse. <laughs> they <laughs> were so bad. I, I, okay, any live action of Flash is horrible. Uh, it was like it honestly looked like reboot quality CG. It was like the old Flash getting punched around by some kind of futuristic Flash, and it just looks so he terrible. It's oh, I think that, wait, funny. was that the fight between Flash and Dr. Zoom? I, I no, it was like, uh, spoilers Dr. I guess, Zoom. but it's like a future version of the Flash that's evil, and he's got a yeah, robot Yeah, that's suit. Dr. Zoom. Really? That's Dr. Zoom. He's from the future. That's a stupid name. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's from the future. <laughs> Why does this, all of Flash's villains have to have some kind of pun on speed in their name? Gorilla Grodd! Well, alright, all right, apart from Gorilla Grodd. <laughs> have they done him in the TV series? Probably. No, probably I not, because that's it. too much CG. They're very, very cheaply made no. programs. No, you see, they just let loose a gorilla with a hat. <laughs> Because I think it was a video I was watching that just it was poking fun at the terrible CG because there was some from like the Supergirl TV show as well. Because I've terrible. noticed the way the way they make Flash in, in live action is they they just uh, they record the main character and then just speed him up and it looks way off. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they did uh, it the, in the eighties. The Knight Rider technique. Hmm. <laughs> I like it. Flash works in animated form. It doesn't work in live action. Uh, didn't they do okay with it in the Justice League movie? Like one of the few things I they did. Haven't seen that. I they have just, no interest in this. They just kind of do the the effect where there's like there's lightning around him and then everything else is suddenly super slow and he's not. Yeah, speed. like that's that's a way they could like that's the way that they should make him is that they they make it from his perspective rather than other people's. Perspective. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. But yeah, Black Lightning was surprisingly good. Uh, he's a, he's a kind of hero that doesn't seem to go easy on people. Dude, Surprise! Then. He's not. He doesn't kill people since most of the people he fights are like drug, uh, like drug teenagers. I've heard that the Daredevil series and then the spin-off Punisher series are okay. Yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, in Defenders, uh, Iron Fist was in there and he was completely useless. I heard that was really bad. Yeah, yeah he was very he was very far from his actual character. And okay, he, he Iron Fist is supposed to be like a master martial artist, but in Defenders he was kind of like I am 
just as good as this person, except I'm worse. But I have a glowing fist, though. Yeah, he does have a glowing mm -hmm. fist, and also he's like a, a white surfer dude. Yeah, Doesn't I mean that's like what he has. That's what he's always been. He's always been a white rich boy. I didn't think that was his character. No, he, no, in personality he's not. He's very like. He's a very like uh, what's it called, mystical kung fu guy. Hmm. He's Bruce Wayne without the detective work. Yes, and with more superpowers. Well, yeah, he has a glowing fist. You know, you could stick he, that in excuse all kinds me, of in the newest ones, he has two glowing fists. Oh my god. <laughs> well, upgrades. <laughs> I can't wait for the Triple X version for his cock starts glowing. <laughs> so, oh, there you go. his superpower is basically that he can harness his chi. Um, oh, so he's Goku. His, so he's a monk. So yes. He's, he's a Saiyan. I think he got it from defeating like an actual dragon. That would sound plausible. <laughs> well, he's a mystical kung fu man. <laughs> he used mystical kung fu to, to, to beat up a dragon. Yes. Since that's how that works. <laughs> I bested this dragon with my hand time combat techniques. I think the only good part in Defenders was when he put punched Luke Cage. Did Luke Cage Since take it because of his power invincibility? His power is that he's super strong and can take anything and he got, he got blasted through a uh, wall, basically. Yeah. Since um, when he uses the Iron Fist, he's super strong. Mm -hmm. That was the only good part in Defenders. <clears throat> I just realized I've carved nothing tonight. <laughs> Wait, no, I think I carved exactly one other thing. Nice. But that's it. I've been totally forgetting to do it. Was it the Dodo Gamma? It may have been the Dodo Gamma, yeah. <laughs> nice. Good. Uh, quality play. Well, we're just going to need to continue our conversation about Marvel and DC as per usual next time we play this, or I guess while we're playing Fortnite. <laughs> He ran away yet, from his yeah. family and money. Why? Did they know better Kung Fu? No. Oh, come on, that was a good joke. Like, his money <laughs> knows knows more Kung Fu than him, so he's scared of it. <laughs> I just want a dollar bill that knows Kung Fu. Is that so much to ask for? I actually don't remember any music in Defenders except... Wait, was that the one that had, like, a lot of raps, rapping music for some reason in the fighting scenes? Can't remember. I don't want to appear in my other races, but that sounds like more like it would be in Luke Cage, maybe? Yeah, but Luke Cage was in it, so, you know. Got another health gem. Got two slider gems. Oh yeah, of course, um, there's Asian characters in the show, so there's a lot of katanas in there. Oh, of course, absolutely. Nice, of course. <laughs> has there no, been oh, any yeah. point where a katana is bent by a fist, or otherwise? No, he smashes it with a fist. Okay, yeah, I knew that. But um, there's also... A there's also a Japanese guy who speaks exclusively Japanese and no one acknowledges it. <laughs> you mean they, nice. they talk to him as if they understand him and he understands English? Yes, yes. but <laughs> no one acknowledges it. Hmm. It's so, it's so confusing to me. <laughs> it's like this one guy who speaks only <laughs> Japanese and everyone speaks English to him. Even the other Japanese character speaks English to him. <laughs> Why is nice. why are they like that? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh. All right. Anyway, on that note, that's where we're going to end for the YouTube site. I hope you enjoyed our return to Monster Hunter. We'll see you again next time. Ta-ta for now. Bye.